Hi. Hi. Lovely to meet you both. You too. So what instruments do you guys play? Oh, I, well, we both play the bass. Oh, okay. 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 Bass clef. All right. All good. <laughs> good. My name is Julie Edwards. I'm a cellist with the Flint Symphony Orchestra. I was hired in that orchestra in 1981. Um, I was student teaching that semester, so I've been in it that long. I was a public school teacher for 26 years. I taught band and orchestra, and I also was a private cello instructor at the Flint Institute of Music. My name is Darren Stiff. I'm a junior at Grand Blank High School, and I play the upright bass. And my name is Virginia, and I'm a senior at Grand Blank High School, and I also play the upright bass. Started taking piano lessons when I was in the second grade, and so I took a couple of years of piano lessons, and then in the fourth grade, I started to play the cello. And for two or three years, I played both instruments and then my piano teacher told my mother to let me stop playing the piano because I didn't love it the way I love playing the cello and my mother said sure great okay <laughs> all right wow three instruments at one time that's a lot so how old were you when you first started playing the cello I think I was 10 Fourth grade, I think you're 10 in fourth grade. So I've been playing it for 55 years. Wow, 55. No excuse to not play in tune at that point, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> um, what type of music programs were available in school when you were growing up? We had a uh, a vocal music teacher, you know, like a general music teacher in our school, and every grade got to go to general music, I don't know, at least once a week, probably more than once, I really don't remember. And we also had instrumental music available for the kids that wanted to take it starting in fourth grade. And then um, in my high school, we of course had band, marching band, orchestra, and choir. I went to Flushing High School. <laughs> I was in the first graduating class of orchestra, yes. And they have a really great orchestra now. Oh, wow. You were in the first graduating class. Of I was in the first one, yeah. But I actually moved to that district from somewhere else and um, already played the cello. And, you know, they were happy to have another string player. Yeah. Because why wouldn't you be happy to have another string player, right? Who would it be? Um, so what is your job like on a day-to-day -day basis? I'm actually retired from teaching public school. My job was quite a lot like Mrs. Hugler's job, except I also taught band. Um, so, you know, both disciplines, band and orchestra. Um, but I, because I'm in more than one professional orchestra, I also am responsible for getting my music learned before the first rehearsal, because when you walk into the first rehearsal, you have to know your part already. You're not sight reading, you're not, you know, all of that, you, you have to already know it. For example, I got music this morning uh, in a, a PDF file for a concert that's in a week and a half. So I've got a week and a half to learn that music, which, you know, frankly is no big deal, but it's my responsibility to be ready for that. And we have, for that particular performance, there will be two rehearsals and, you know, I have to be on time and I have to do my job while I'm sitting there in my chair. And the lower sounds like, I didn't want my mom to sing me to sleep. I wanted my dad to sing me to sleep because I liked my ear on his chest with his low voice and always the low sounds. So then when I was in fourth grade, you take the musical aptitude test. That's how my school district did it. We took this aptitude test and 
I already played the piano, so I was kind of off the charts. I could already read music, all the things, right? And they brought me in and said, what instrument do you want to play? And I said, I want to play the string bass. And my, I'm only five foot three, okay? And my teacher, the, my public school teacher said, how about the cello? Just because, you know, you're short, your hands are small, all the things. And um, I didn't even know the cello existed. Never heard of it, didn't know what it was. He showed it to me. He said, take it, take it home, try this. And if you hate it, we'll switch you to string bass. Mm, I loved it. We've been together ever since. <laughs> Hmm. Um, I think those are all the questions that we wanted to 